Barbell Junction. Assalamualaikum and hi. Welcome to our latest episode of Barbell Junction. Episode 10. Episode 10. Yeah. Episode 10. Wow. I think all of you know, know us already. Mm-hmm. Our guest today is Antonia, an IFBB Pro League in Bikini Competition. Did I get that right? Yes, yes. you did. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was really tough. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, As as usual, the, the way we start is that um, we have the guests in, uh, introduce themselves. So, okay. Yeah. Um, my name is Antonia Lorraine Nicomedes. I'm actually from Sabah. I'm a mom of two. Um, I have one daughter, um, nine years, and a son, um, seven years old. Mm. So, um, I'm a freelance personal trainer. I also train in bodybuilding. So, I started bodybuilding since. Um, <clears throat> Seriously, in uh, 2017, early 2017. No. Yeah. Yes. That's impossible. Why? Uh, before that, what were you doing? Uh, okay, before this, I was working in a corporate um, world mm. for 16, 16 years. And then in 2000, I think 14, I started to involve in fitness. Oh, okay. Mainly a marathon <clears throat> okay. for a year. Then uh, I stopped and I joined uh, a gym. So I did this um, group workout, you know, like mm. um, this group of Zumba, mm. yoga. Okay. So it was kind of okay, but, um, but I like it. And I, I met this uh, personal trainer in uh, one of these gym that I, uh, can I? Um, yeah, you can. <laughs> in Celebrity Fitness. Yeah. So he said he was competing for a competition in bodybuilding. So, okay. So actually I found out about bodybuilding. Um, they have um, a lot of categories mm. like men's physique, mm. you know, things like that. And I found out female as well. Mm. So um, I started to train in um, uh, doing strength training by myself. And then, yeah. Were you uh, always athletic? No, but I love fitness. I'm quite active at school, but I was never like an athlete or you know things like that. No. Mm-hmm. So while you were working um, uh, in the 16 years of working mm-hmm. in the corporate world, mm-hmm. you never went to a gym. Mm, <clears throat> no. So in 2014 was it? Yeah. You started to go to the gym. Yes. And 2017, you started with bodybuilding. Yes, it's crazy. Yes. Yeah, it is crazy. <coughs> and, yes. And what? 20. Uh, did you 18? I, you got I, your IFBB card? No, I didn't get my FB card yet. Um, in 2017 uh, June, I decided. Okay, I resigned from my job mm-hmm. and decided to be a personal trainer, and um. To pursue my uh, passion in bodybuilding because mm. I want to be a pro, not just for fun. Because yeah. mm-hmm. um, I, I read about this um, journey from I mean testimonial and um, journey from other competitors, and it was so um, it intrigued me. I love the process. It changes people. I mean the way mm. I mean understanding understanding more about yourself. You know I am. Um, Like confidence wise so I was not very confident back then mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I love physique I love right. um, human anatomy mm-hmm. like um, how you combine training and nutrition so I really want to learn about um, how do you do this and not only to be an athlete but also to be a coach yeah but it takes time so I realized that you need <clears throat> time to do this not just for part time so I made that decision to change my career I assume In 2017, when you resigned, um, you would already have about three years of uh, going to the gym, right? So did yeah. you get all your yeah yeah? Uh, I I I was training? seriously trained uh, in the gym. I think 2016 around March, where I changed my eating habit. You know, eat clean things mm. like that. Then um late 2016, I I wanted to um I was in a sp- I wanted to you know compete. Mm. Back then, I didn't know that um, they have like probably age, age or um, classes. Classes yeah. like I thought there's specific um, criteria to join, and mm. I found out that so you can join as long as you look good, you mm. know, your mm. physique. Yeah. So yeah. So um, I I I I take courses in physique hypertrophy and um, and it makes me wanted to know more, 
and I made a resolution. I said I want to compete by 2017. Yeah. So, so all this uh, courses that you took it was before you resigned, correct? Yes. I'm just curious how you transitioned from 16 working 16 years <laughs> into uh, personal I, training. <clears throat> yeah, I think passion. I really love bodybuilding. Like, mm. like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So is, much. Isn't that how long the same amount of time you spend yeah. in the Mexico? Same, same with me. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably wow. Longer. Yeah, but the the thing is, um, how how did you? Tra- I mean, financially, <laughs> financially, how did you cope? Though I mean, the sixteen years would probably net you quite a high salary already. Yeah, it is. So how did you adjust? It's not easy, but um, um, <laughs> because um, I have, I have my husband is doing um, very good. I asked mm. him, I said, can I, you know, yeah. um, resign and I want to do full time. My wife I- is doing well too. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. Yeah, it's so yeah. So um, at the same time, I want to be with my kids. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So he said, okay. Yeah, but still, it's not easy actually from you know earning yeah, that I much know. and go mm. back to zero. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, well, I'm. Um, I didn't go back to exactly zero, but it's lower lah. <laughs> <And> still, <laughs> still lower getting, than zero. Yeah, uh, no, still lower. Oh, so, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. so still getting used to that's it. That's alarming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's why you asked me before about uh, why did we start this podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Is to prepare for uh, that. There's a the date. Zero. There's a date that we are uh, anticipating here in Zilfit, which is in September, October. Wow. Okay. Right. So there's a target that we need to achieve. Mm-hmm. Um, so this podcast is helping us. Trying to achieve that particular goal, I wouldn't say what the goal is, but it has to do with uh, uh, money, lah. <laughs> <laughs> <Of course. laughs> you know, everything is right. So I think you guys are doing very great. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. Thank you. Good job. Yeah. And uh, you're right. I mean, uh, my own experience in the corporate world is that you know, after a while, you get bored of doing the same yes. things over and over yes. again, and you want exactly. to yeah, yes. and you want to find something that um, uh, that excites you. Yes, right. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's why I mean one of the reasons why I started this this business is uh, or actually I, why, I, why I resigned was because I wanted to do this full time. Yeah. yeah. So I understand what you're going through though. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. And of course we get to spend uh, more time with the kids. Yes. Right. Although yes. I do find myself sometimes uh, quite busy here. <laughs> But uh, you'll see my daughters coming through the door very soon after this. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't wait to meet them. So um <laughs> Uh, after uh, you resigned, mm. uh, how how long did it take you to get the IFBB card? What's the process like? Okay, <clears throat> um, to get an IFBB card, you have to win the overall. Um, you have to to be a winner. So for me, when I for my first competition, because I didn't know that um, I approached um, one of these um, competitor. I think you guys know is Jackie Tan. So she's been competing quite some time. So I asked her. She said, "If you want to know, uh, if you want to see, um, experience, if this is what you want, you go for a smaller stage." So my first competition was in IFBB Elite. So IFBB actually has mm, two: right. uh, IFBB Elite and FT Pro League. So it was in Singapore, um, 2017 seventeen <clears throat> around um, October, I guess. Mm. Yeah. So. After I went there, I I went through that competition. I fall in love even more. I love the stage. I love the process. It changes mm. me, mm. become more confident, because you know, to f- for me, like a lot of people like was surprised and shocked because I'm not that type of person who likes to be in on a yeah on stage stage, stage, stage and everything yeah, yeah or, or give a speech or things like that. So hey, same like me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Okay. Do so yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll take me more than one year. Though. <laughs> hey, we have ways to get around that. <laughs> so yeah, you know, if I mean you going up on stage to be judge, mm-hmm. wearing just bikini mm-hmm. and doing posing and to make sure that you don't fall and to be as good as your other competitor and it's an international mm. um, um, show. Yeah. So that changes me. Change me as a person, mm-hmm. and I love the process. And meeting other athletes is, I think, is one of the highlight. Mm. Right. Yeah, not to you know, um, how to say, not to. Uh, it's not about like I want to win, but just to be there mm-hmm. to see others. Mm. And yeah, and um, surprisingly, I actually got um runner up, second runner mm. up. 
the first time the first competing. Time. Yes, wow. yes, yes. So and I was that's, like, that's not even a year <coughs> into your training. Am I right? If I yes. got, if we got it right. Yes, yes. Cool. What? Yeah. So does that doesn't mean that you're. <laughs> that's not right. That's not right. What happened? What I happened? know. Why would you be now if you started earlier? What? Like if you started doing bodybuilding training earlier, like. I know. I, yeah. I, I, I've been like. Crazy. Oh, I no, no. Studies. You you probably be in the what, what's the Arnold or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually, that's my dream. Actually, I mm. want to be in Arnold um, Classic. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So does, does your body like adapt to the training super quickly? Like, do you yes. see results really fast? Yes. Wow. Yes, yes. I, I, I train every day. I okay. Like how many times a day? How many times? A, one time a day. One time a day? I mean, on off season, one time a day. Mm-hmm. If when you prep, it can be like um, twice a day. Okay. Then you do cardio. Cardio, okay. And right. then you have to do trainings. So how long before that, the first competition? Uh, of, how long was the training? The, the first competition? Yeah. How long I prep? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that one was very interesting. Um, um, I trained by myself. And then like uh, four weeks before the competition, then my coach like start um, giving me uh, training and the nutrition, mm. things like that, to, uh, to, to lose weight, to cut. Yeah. So four weeks. Yeah, it's crazy. It's I know. still young. Yeah, I know. I, know, I, know, I still can't wrap my head around how how quickly you um, <coughs> can pick up. Yeah, you uh, adapt to it. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> was this um, was there an age category that you competed in or? Okay. Um, for the first one, I I joined the uh, open. Open. Open or the uh, yeah open and um, master bikini, which is um, thirty five and above. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the one that I want is actually the second one, the master. The master. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. And then you got your card. No. Oh. No card. You have to be a winner, overall winner. Overall. Overall. Yes. Wow. Yes. yes. So Not easy to get a card. So when did that happen? No, I haven't got my card. Oh, you yet. haven't got yet. No. Okay. I see. Oh, I thought. Okay. Soon. I understand. I understand. Soon. All right. Soon. Yes. Soon. yes. Are you competing this year? Um. Hopefully. Um. Maybe. Um. There's a competition. Okay. Last year I competed in Manila. Um, so this year it's gonna be in Malaysia. Oh. Um, there's an IFB show in Malaysia this December, Man of Steel. Mm. So it depends if my um, body condition. I probably join because your hometown, your home mm. country, mm. right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So do you expect to win this time around, or what's the expectation? Yeah, I wanna win <laughs> <laughs> all out. <laughs> what happens when you get the card? What's the okay? Means? When you go, I mean, you get a card, then you got to compete with other pros, and that's where you will win. Um, Cash price. Right. Okay. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So the competitions that you've participated before this, what was the uh, price? Just, um, just uh, maybe a medal or a trophy and mm. some oh, supplements. Okay. Yeah. But by they are no. sanctioned by IFBB. Yes. Okay. Like IFBB. Yeah. So we, we we do have IFBB in Malaysia, right? Yeah, we have. Yeah. yeah okay. Have, yeah. All right. So um, can you talk through talk through us your your tr- training and how? Training. How you got so good so fast? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, cardio. cardio. <laughs> yes, cardio. Uh, my training. Okay. Bec- um, how? Okay. Last year was um, for Manila because this uh, specific this um, stage is bigger stage is um, and the Sean Roden Classic. Sean Roden, you know Sean Roden. Unfortunately not. Okay, Sean Roden was Mr. Olympia for 2018. Okay. So he have his own show, which is in Manila. Right. So I attended that one. Um, my training, I started around twelve weeks out, twelve to thirteen weeks out. Really? So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, why? Why? Why is it wow? Is it like long or is it short? Mm. S- standard actually. I I suppose for bodybuilding it's quite, uh, it's normal, but I would say maybe for like competing for strength stuff it's quite short. Mm. Mm. That's like. Twelve weeks in, you mean starting the the, the cut already, the, the weight loss. Um, your diet has oh, to diet. be changed. Okay. Change, yeah. And macros. I mean, and you're your already starting to lose weight, or are you still trying to still trying um, to? So you're already in the deficit, twelve weeks out. That time I was in deficit, not really maintain. Maintain. Okay. Yeah, I only start cutting like my diet really changed. Um, drastic. I mean, um, three or four weeks out, right? Four weeks out. Mm. That's where you cut. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because oh. you try to maintain your muscle. So if you mm. cut early, you might lose some yeah. muscle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so how how is the training different from if you were to go into bodybuilding? Uh huh. How would it be different from that and a bikini mm. 
contest because I would assume for bodybuilding you're maximizing mm-hmm. uh, size. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So how is that different for for you, or is it the same? It's the same. It's the same. Yeah, I mean, a uh, bodybuilding as in, I mean, uh, like bikini is a bodybuilding. Term, right? I, I understand from Prilly last time that uh-huh. there's diff- there are different categories. Yes, um, yes, yes. Uh, for okay, for like a uh, female, we have few categories. Um, bikini, mm-hmm. which is um, you supposed you 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 you're not supposed to look too muscular mm-hmm. or too. And, and show like striation. Stri- 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 yes, okay, yes. Okay. Oh, it has to be okay. like fit and um, with shape, and mm. you have small smooth waist. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. Abs. You don't have to have like six pack. You don't have to. Mm. Have, yeah. And then um, you go to fitness, a bit bigger, and then physique. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think these three category. I mean. Okay. W- which one replaced the uh, Miss Olympia? Because there, there's there are no more yes, there's no more Miss Olympia already, right? Yeah, really? There is, there is, there is. Miss Olympia, not Mister. Miss Olympia, yes. There's yes, for women, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was um, cancelled and replaced by, um, yeah, all yeah. these bikinis, um, physique. I think that's just the title for like overall. Yes, oh. Miss Olympia is the title uh, overall winner I mean, oh. for bikini. Yeah. Ah. Oh, then okay. there's another Miss Olympia for physique. Okay, okay. Mm. Because yes. last time there was just one, which is Miss uh-huh, Olympia. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I remember, you know, Corey Everson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back in the eighties, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. no, bodybuilding, bodybuilding for female. You know, the big, the big ones. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. they, they don't have that category C- anymore. Correct. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, right. So now they just call the physique competition Miss Olympia. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Okay. Farm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in in each uh in each let's say bikini and physique overall means you are the best across all age and. Yes. Oh, is it, what, is it Best, big, good uh, by height or weight? Weight. Um, your category. Category. Uh, like usually, this um um is um. To to win Miss Olympia, you have to compete among the pros. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and usually to to go to Olympia, you have to go. You have to collect points where you compete um few shows around um year, mm-hmm. and then you'll be selected or invited to compete oh, okay. in Olympia. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So regardless of age. Yes, regardless of age. Okay, okay. Probably height, height. And height too. Yeah. But in 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 the local comps to qualify, there's the age and height um, categories, right? Um, for local. Or the, for like the small small competitions small, to to, to um, qualify. To qualify, the no, there's no age or oh, okay. height. Mm. They they have they do have like by category like. 153 centimeters. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so oh, high, high by category, height. Yeah, high category. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the um, event. They will okay. specifically tell oh, you like uh, okay. category under 153cm, uh, category under 163, or, yeah, things oh. like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a lot. Oh. Not really. No? Yeah. It's mm. not a range of height for women, is it? Like, how many categories overall in total? Um, okay, the Sean Roden, I think, they have for female um quite a lot um four or five mm. okay right yeah and five. this is for all females right just yes. four categories yes 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 and correct me if I'm getting this right uh, if I'm getting this wrong <laughs> <laughs> correct me if I'm getting it right so you have your um physique then you have your bikini yeah and there was another one what was it what was it? Uh, fitness. 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 Yeah. You have to do all three. No, no. Okay. Just choose one. Just choose one that suits your body. So when you said yeah. when you win overall, yeah. How is it judged then? Overall of what? Oh, um, overall means um in your category. Okay. How do I say this? I guess to get a pro card, they do give pro card like based on just category, or overall um. um Okay, there's an amateur cat, uh, amateur hmm. and also pros. Okay. So let's say um, you won the amateur overall. Okay. Then you got to compete with the pros. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But For just pro card. Uh, just by 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 winning the amateur uh, overall doesn't mean you're gonna get the card yet, right? No. You yeah. still have to compete with the IB Pro. Yes, yes. So you competed in the amateur or amateur, amateur. Or amateur. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Still under amateur. Yes. So at the end of this year, it's still gonna be still the amateur. Amateur, yes. Okay. Yes, so you're just yes. trying to get 
over that hurdle yes. of winning overall. Correct, correct. But still, the overall, mm-hmm. is it still just what? Because in our context, overall okay. means what? What does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> it, it's, overall, it's different, right? So in, in probability, you we have different weight classes, weight categories, yeah. right? Uh-huh. So and then they have this um, formula to determine who's the best lifter uh-huh. um, across all their weight categories because. Let's say a lighter guy who lifted heavier, and then a heavier guy who lifted heavier. It's hard to compare because in di- in different weight classes, Correct, right? Yeah. So they have this formula that you that they use to determine the best overall okay. lifter. Okay. It's very unfair. <laughs> so is it the I mean, same? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, more or less the same. Um, so um, this means that overall means you win you you win across all the height categories. Is, is that it? Yes. I mean, oh, it's open. Open. There's another category. Open, open, open category okay. where you know age, um, height <coughs> doesn't matter. You you compete. Okay. So, <clears throat> you go on on stage on in your category, yep. right? Yeah. You win that. Yeah. And then you go on stage again, among the other categories, and then they. No, not other other categories. You will, um, go on stage again with the pros if you are an amateur. Mm. Oh, so overall, just means you win your category. Yes. That's it. Yes. Ah okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. It depends on the organizer. Sometimes they say, okay, we're gonna give like twenty pro cut pro cuts. So probably each category oh. will get one pro cut for bi- bikini and then uh, for fitness, huh? if you want, you get another pro cut. Wow. It I'm depends. A, uh, Sometimes they say just three. So probably that's an overall, um, maybe on the open category. Oh, so like each winner of the height of yes. category, they will see who gets the pro cut. Is yes. that right? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, it depends on the event. Oh. So so if let's say you wanna compete. You have to. Um, you need to have a strategy and plan. You don't. You don't just um, go and compete any any show. So you wanna um, see. Okay, they're gonna issue like twenty pro cards. So the chances for you to get a pro card may be higher. Ah, okay, right? yeah, yeah. Because more to give. Yeah, right? if it's just three pro cards. Probably no point. Yeah, competing. yeah. And then you have to see. Okay, where is it? Is it in Malaysia? And then you say, okay, most of the participant contestant. And I, uh, you know, it's very easy to you know mm. to meet them. Sudan cari makan lah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 is that, that why you that. do hires? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> my the, you know the record is uh, internationally. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's irreg- regardless of regardless of the right. competitors. Yeah. <laughs> so so wait, wouldn't that mean that the quality of the pro mm-hmm. is like not standardized, right? Because um. if you if you compete where you you know Sudan cari makan. When you become a pro, then yes. eh, it's not really a pro. Yes, oh. that's true. Yeah. Oh, Sometimes okay. you go uh, on a show and then um, she's w- she's one of the pros. pros. Then you're like, okay, you know, compared to other other, mm, uh, you know, like well, so far, you know, yeah. Okay, yeah, could be, right. Yeah. Where yeah, where are you in terms of um, where the elite <laughs> elites are? Like, I mean, comparatively, yeah. I don't know. Huh? I hope good. What do you mean? <laughs> like, um, like for powerlifting, there is a benchmark. Right? We, the, yeah, yeah. We okay. know the standard of worlds is this this high. Okay. And we're like, <clears throat> right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know what you mean. Okay, because. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, are you talking about, about, are you talking about Malaysia, 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 scene, Malaysia, no, okay. Malaysia, scene. Malaysia scene. Yeah, yeah m- maybe impressive. like the the quality. <laughs> among like, among Malaysian among athletes, Malaysia, yeah, yeah, the yeah. quality, Asia, quality of their physique maybe compared Malaysia, to Malaysia, Asia, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, how do I say? <laughs> uh, good. good. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Alicia. Um, the best. Do we have representatives <laughs> from this region uh, in the Olympia? Uh, yes, we do. Oh, oh we do. Yeah, um, Josephine. Uh, I think she's the first um, IFB pros. A female IFB pros okay. from oh, Malaysia. Okay. Yes. Oh. Yes, she competed. I think last year in Men of Steel as well. Wow. And uh, she won pro card, and oh sorry, two years ago. Two years ago. Mm. Okay. Anyway, she she won a pro card, and she competed in Manila as well with, uh, with me, and she competed with the other pros. Mm. And if you see the quality, of course, the pros are so much different. Mm. You can see. Okay. Yeah. What what is that difference though? Oh, the the bro. physique. No, because they cannot have striations. <laughs> yeah, I guess right? striations. Physique. Oh, oh, that's physique. Right. Yes. It's 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 weird if you're um sitting there as an audience and you. Look at the stage. You can see the difference, the mm. quality difference of the muscle, the, muscle? Wow. the way you move, the 
uh, symmetry. Okay. You know. But, yeah. but does gen- genetics have more to do with that than yeah, anything yeah, else? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah, if you you are blessed with genetics, of course. I mean, it will be very easy for you to train. But, so um, what if what if you have like a better body part? Let's say like your chest is better than your your lat, right? And then like. Do you do you just make your chest even better, or you try to balance it, or is it like, is yes. like a certain look you need yes, to have? Right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So what's go- what's better for a bikini? Like sh- sh- for bikini, wide shoulders, uh, narrow waist. We need or? to have yeah narrow waist. Mm-hmm. We need to have the X shape, X oh. shape. Yeah, um, glutes. So you, oh. Glutes very important. Glutes, okay. Yeah. Diamond glutes. It's not Diamond easy to get. glutes. Yeah. Diamond. Glutes. Diamond glutes. You can shredded go- glutes. Google it. Shredded. Because <laughs> <laughs> it has to be shiny. No. <laughs> and sparkly. Really shiny. <laughs> sparkly. <laughs> okay, the shape of your glutes, you know, muscle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy to get that, that shape. That, that, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I think you know. Mm. Yeah. If you, if you, I mean, if you watch any competition and most of the athletes, they don't have uh, very nice glutes. Mm. If you, mm-hmm. Yeah. If you look at the uh, pros, wow. Okay. Yeah. There's a difference. Mm. Yeah. And the way you um, pose. Okay. You know, you have need to have that. Um, charisma, confidence. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, yeah. Sorry, you were asking. Posing is is one of the things that you can. Oh yes. Improve too, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So you yeah. can have maybe like not maybe your physique is not as good, but if you have the confidence. Exactly. Good posing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. If you know a certain pose that looks good on you. Uh, okay. Right? It's an illusion, so you have to create mm. that. You need to know how to, you know, um, Flaunt find your. your Ah uh, yeah. Flaunt your 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 good side. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I've always wondered uh, how how is it um, judged uh, based on what that mm. for, 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 for your competition? Yeah. Based how? on what um symmetry, um like what I told you um you need to have that um tiny waist mm-hmm. the way you pose. Uh, judges can see they they can see how you try to hide your flaws. Oh. You know, and if you can, there you get extra mark. Like wow, you know. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Wow. When if, if let's say like me, I have very wide waist. Okay. Mm-hmm. Some people have very tiny. So if I can hide that, and My judges like wow, okay, you can see yeah. And but thankfully I have very broad shoulder mm. okay. so it's an so, illusion of um, yeah so I have to play oh. around my shoulder the way okay, I okay. twist you know things so like that do you do you like when you go to the venue for the competition yeah. do you like check where the lights are and everything yes you know? yes, yeah? yes 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 okay. of course, yeah, of course. Uh. you go to the stage and how the stage gonna bo- look like and mm. where you're gonna you know walk and turn okay and like so you know how it's gonna yeah usually uh, organizer they'll know um, what kind of lights they should um, uh, okay you know um, have Okay. It's good. I only remember this because like Arnold was talking about it. Mm. Like something I can't remember what I watched. Mm. You mean the I am um, pumping iron? Pumping iron? Yeah, I was pumping iron. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you go to the stage, yeah. like mm-hmm. and you check where the lights are. Yes. Yeah. And he'll practice. That that's a good uh, movie. Have you seen it? Yes, I have. <laughs> he, <laughs> very motivating. He psychoed uh, Lou Ferrigno. Cow, yeah, cow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that guy's brilliant. Uh. Yes. Right. Mm. Must be really nerve wracking, huh? Like. Walking on stage and then getting your pose, trying to get everything right. Yeah, yes. uh, yeah. Yes. Because you said you were not very confident mm. yes. person, right? So how yes. did you overcome? Just do. Huh? Close your eyes and just do it. <laughs> but you can't. Still, you have to. Like, you, know, you, have yeah, to yeah. you have to be present. <laughs> no, they'll yeah. be like, why yeah. is she going? <laughs> 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 Number to three. Be, you need I to can't see my bad, but my, my, my bad sides. <laughs> you need they to. Don't <laughs> yeah, you have to be prepared. But if you do m- make mistakes, then you try, you know, try better next time. Yeah. What sort of mistakes would you make in in a competition? Mm, yeah. Um, probably your diet. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Know? No, I mean on stage. You on stage. Yeah. Um. Yeah, your poses. Your poses, yeah, right? Posing, yeah. Maybe you're nervous and yeah, you forgot you your. Wrong pose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You forgot your pose. Um, okay. You might fall. No high mm. heels like ah, five, yeah. five and a half. Okay. Five heels. You have okay. to wear those those heels. Yes, it's a uh, compulsory. My yeah. God, okay. Yeah, yeah. So like, um, who actually train you for all this? Um, pose the posing. Yeah, the posing. Um, I have a coach. Um, uh, Jackie Tan. She's a posing coach. Um, so my dearest friend. So oh, I think I know her. Yeah. Uh, she helps. Does she help Lenora as well? Yeah. Lenora. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So um, she's a uh, um, one of the one of the person that um, motivates me mm. to you know, give me encouragement. You know, yeah. To okay. to to 
to to believe in me that like yeah you can do it and just do it. Uh, how big? Need a short break. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's a, the camera is acting up so again. So um, we'll we'll take a short break and we'll be Three, back right after two, this. One. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly put on wrist wraps. Okay, guys. First things first. Put the wrap in this direction, not not the other way around. So, and then you want to grab the loop here, and then just lightly put it over your wrist. It doesn't have to be tight just yet. Just put it over it lightly. Now, <clears throat> take this part, turn your hand around, and now it's easy for you to make it tighter. So, every revolution, try to pull as hard as you can, pulling out all the slack out of it. And then, that's secure. How's it, Brandon? I'm impressed. Good. Good. Three, two, one. And we're back <laughs> <laughs> at Barbell Junction right. with Antonia. Right? Yes. I still yes. got your name right. Good. You can call me Anne. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Anne. that's easier. Okay. Yeah. All right. You should have told us that uh, <laughs> earlier. She, she, did. <laughs> she did. She did? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, hey. uh, so where, where, where did we love, uh, le leave off? Something on a stage. Stage. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, I'm lost for questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, I want to ask about the nutrition part mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. whole uh, mm -hmm. prep. Okay. So, from my observation, what I'm seeing is that we have this um, eating clean culture, yeah. like among fitness, the, the fitness scene in Malaysia. Yeah. But I don't think they really understand like macros and. Yeah. You know that, that kind of stuff, and they, they don't really count. I mean, I'm kind of guilty yeah. of that as well. Uh, so, too. what's the personally? What did you do? Did you count every single drop, you know, of calories yes. that you put in? And what's the, I guess, the mainstream practice? Do, do people do that? Do people take it, take their nutrition that seriously, <coughs> or do they just okay as long as I'm eating clean, I'll, I'm gonna and do cardio, I'm gonna lose weight. Um, are you referring um, when prepping? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, mostly when prepping, season. yeah. Do, okay. do you understand like the science behind it and stuff like that? Yeah, um, okay, prepping. Uh, basically, yeah, you have to really count your macros. Okay. And, and that's a standard practice among all the other competitors yes. as well? Yes, okay. yes. Mm. You don't just eyeball your, mm. your okay. portion. You right. So but it has to... Sorry. Do you have that random competitor that's like, oh, just, just, just eat the broccoli? I think yes, because those who are like, you know, who genetically, are genetically, gifted? Yeah, 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 genetically yeah. gifted or they are, they are um, Naturally they look lean? good all year round. Yeah. Yeah. So, so probably it just took them like a few weeks to, to, cut, to cut the diet. Then, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, but with you, you had to really yeah. lay yeah. out the plan and then... Exactly. Okay. One thing is because I want to learn how to do it the right way mm -hmm. and, um, and experience it. And um, yeah, and I want to learn... Um, it's very interesting actually mm. you know the diet's so different like basically you're eating the same thing every day yeah yeah mm. so i think um and you'll be hungry every day <laughs> you just can't <laughs> wait for the next meal right, right. um and but then the next meal is boring so you, you get hungrier <laughs> you're hungry because oh. you're in a deficit or uh yeah because you're in a deficit yeah of course and you train longer more and then of course you use up more energy because mm. you're doing cardio of course mm. you'll be hungry but yeah. this is four weeks out um when you start prepping for me from i felt the, it from the week I've, yeah for the first, first time week. for first day you start prepping even if it's like 12 weeks yeah you'll feel, feel the changes because you don't just um how to say you don't because there's specific food that you eat that i i, I you cut out sugar processed food it's okay. all very clean okay yeah so you don't hold like water away and all that right yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah so you don't need any calories to bulk you up need. first you need um no you bulk when you're off season you oh. bulk when you're prepping yeah. Yeah, when you prep, you just lose the fat. Yeah, yeah. Mm. when to you prep reveal. for twelve weeks. When you prep, you yeah. you. It takes some. I guess it depends on how, how much body fat you carry because well, different yeah. people maybe shorter time. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But basically, you cut your carbs a lot, Carb, carbs and increase your protein intake, and your mm. supplement has to be on point, and you cannot miss meals, and your training has to be you know um, consistent, mm -hmm. and uh, you need sleep 
at least seven hours a day, mm. and uh, yeah, things like that. So, mm. so do you usually um, you create the plan, and you know all the the, the food <coughs> um, weight from, wait, or yeah. do you do as you go, you you weigh, and then every day you weigh the food, okay, or you have wait. it all weighed out? Or uh, when you prep, it's advice to get a coach. To, mm. to, to think about the strategy, your training, your nutrition because um, you don't want to stress yourself out. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I let my coach, uh, my coach to do all that, my training, things like that. So mm. she will, she will, he will give me a, a meal plan. Mm -hmm. So I just um, follow through. So for example, like oh, 50 grams of oats, something yes. like that, and then you just weigh it? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, yes, okay. yes, yes. Very specific. Five, la. Yes, like breakfast, uh, first thing, uh, protein. Mm -hmm. And then you go for cardio. 45 minutes cardio, you come back, eat your second meal, maybe five egg, five white eggs, and then um, 50 gram of um, oats, and then okay. um, avocado. Mm. So like during that. your prep, mm -hmm. how do you fit in like social events and stuff like that? Um, when with you prep, family? <laughs> You're having dinner with family, oh, having gee, dinner I with friends. I don't have friends. Mm. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, if you have family events and, you know, stuff like that, mm. if some, yeah. with, with your kids, <coughs> if you guys want to go out and eat somewhere, um, or is that the time when you usually just... Or okay. your kids diet with you as well. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sit down. Take your broccoli. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, um, when we have... Uh, okay, usually I avoid going for, like, um, any social event. Mm -hmm. okay. I just stay at home and rest. But when it comes to family, they're going out for you know dinner uh -huh. or you know, um, I just bring my own meal. Uh, okay. They know, yeah, they <laughs> understand. This guy. You can't go to Chili's though. Yeah, then mm. try to yeah. They, do, they don't allow <laughs> outside eat. food. Oh, they don't allow. Yeah. <laughs> then you eat before you go there. Yeah. yeah. Haris, Haris took a whole Tupperware chicken breast to our trip. <laughs> yeah. Last week was it last week? Yeah, Two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 took a whole yeah. Tupperware chicken breast. Eating with okay. the tom yum. Eating it. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see that a lot. Um, if you see somebody doing that, then you know they're on prep. Yeah, um, yeah. What, I do that as well. What do you do oh, when your family is eating? <laughs> right, I mean, I've been there before. I've I've tried that before. It didn't last long. Yeah, I think because if you're in comp you're yeah you're going for a competition, you, you have tend to, to be um, more disciplined. Mm. But I twelve said, weeks no. though, twelve weeks of yeah, that's a long time to be disciplined. I know. This is why when you see this yeah. athletes, mm. you have to oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so basically, yeah. when they're they're it's they're eating, you you're just yeah playing with your phone. Water. <laughs> or you just have vegetable, I know. Yeah, mm. you have My to God. fight mm. that urge to, <clears throat> um, how to say, to to cheat. Yeah, mm. yeah. But it's very frustrating because you're so hungry and you you see you this smell everything, left, right? Yeah, and then you see leftovers like why are you not eating? That? Yeah, you know, like yeah, I can't stand that. Yeah, oh, you push your head down, yeah, eat it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> These the things that you experience. Yeah, especially when you go to expensive uh, restaurants, then exactly. Nah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to eat everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oblige. Yes. Oblige. Mm. Um, but usually I will avoid. I avoid. I won't go. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. What was the? How much was the calorie intake per day uh, um, when you were prepping? Um, earlier, um, for the first few weeks, I think around one thousand six to one thousand five. That's okay, not okay. much. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, that your one meal? Hmm? Is that your one meal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's the I think that's your one meal. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> with your three roti chanais. Oh three roti yeah. Chanais. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then when you get as you get closer, mm -hmm. closer to competition, um, I think four weeks out, it was around one thousand five to one thousand two. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's not yeah. too Ooh, that's bad. That's drastic, right? Yeah. What? That's not bad. too drastic. No, I mean from one wow. six to one what two? One five. Yeah. Yeah. But you're probably like three times per week, so that's it depends yeah. on your but condition. Because I was on well. 2002. Oh, okay. so if you feel like you're not ready, yeah. Yeah. I can imagine yeah. what's 2006. The coach will, mm. um, it depends on the coach when he's, she sees that you're still holding water or it's still uh, not too lean. But usually you'll be uh, lean mm -hmm. uh, unless you don't do your cardio, or, you know. Yeah, okay. yeah. You cheat, you, you, you can tell actually. Okay. Did you measure yeah. your body fat before uh, when you start and uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. I so do. what was before? What was um, <coughs> during um, the competition? Before I start my prepping, I was at nineteen percent body fat, mm -hmm. and then uh, com com day um, twelve point eight, I think. Mm. Wow. Below 12, yeah. And off season is uh, also nineteen or yeah, around uh, varies around twenty to nineteen, okay. eighteen, yeah, okay. somewhere there. Is yeah. twelve the standard? In competition, or do they can someone go even lower? Yeah, they can. Some, yeah. Those are probably the the, ge the genetic freaks, right? Yeah, uh, it depends on individual. Some some look good. Um, lower around oh. twelve. 
some have to be you know lower maybe okay. below 10 yeah depends on the body type because mm, i would assume that like if your body fat's too low then you start to look a little bit less like, yes but if you have different exactly. yeah. rules right if you have um good stats on muscle mm-hmm. then probably it's okay but okay. um yeah It depends on the category mm. as well. Like bikini, you don't have to be too lean. Uh, yeah, lean or too ripped. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That sounds hard. It is. Yeah. <laughs> It's really hard. Actually, right? I have a question. It's kind of controversial. Ah, uh, but is it okay if I ask? Yeah. Because I know in, <coughs> in bikini. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, if it's not okay, we just edit it. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you I don't know, care what I um, anyway. There's a requirement. I mean, I've I've seen on Instagram where oh, these competitors are required some of them to have you know like plastic surgery, oh. for example, like implants and stuff like that. Okay, mm. yeah. Is that really a big deal in in the competition? Yes. Or yes. I would think so because of the the whole shape. It's right? sure, like looking like a. Because yeah, you lose so much fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, okay. Um, majority most bikini and. Other female competitor, mm. they will do mm. uh, implants. Implants, okay. Yes, because um, you look the like more feminine or whatever. Eh? Feminine and sh- and also the shape. The mm-hmm. shape. Mm-hmm. The shape. Yeah, you mm-hmm. look better because when you are too lean, you <laughs> you lose, right? Eh? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, you lose fat. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and you're so confident. Mm. confident. So that means <coughs> that means I mean there are probably girls who you know are just genetically gifted and they can lose weight and still you know retain their no. Really? No. Mm. Uh, they probably lose a lot as well. Probably. A lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you see one, uh, it probably they probably have implant. Okay. okay. Mm. There's no way you lose fat and then still have, um, you know, yeah. Yeah, sets yeah, yeah, of yeah. no way. Yeah. Boobs? No way. No Unless. Way. <laughs> 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 okay, but there's a. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> Come on. But yeah. <laughs> there's also a way. But those who are like not really into implant, actually, you can. Um, I mean the, the 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 bikini. There's a there's a way for you to to wear, yeah. Padding, okay. padding. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is yeah. that against the rule? No, no. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But okay. Is, is it? Do people get judged because of it? No, no. Mm. They don't judge based based on whether you have um, implants or implant padding. Or okay. Or ah, so yeah. as, as long as the appearance is there. Yes, Then why yes. do it though? Because if it's not judged. Because everybody is doing it. Mm. Mm. Self confidence, and. Yeah, you look good. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, I mean, I think that thing is is important, but they don't judge like you using padding. Mm-hmm. I think you can use any you know any way you want as long as you get that period. That, right? that, yeah. that aesthetic. The aesthetic, yeah. Yes, yes, because um, okay, it's not um, you don't need to have implant to to win. Mm-hmm. Actually, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but if you want to have, you can have yeah. it. If you don't want, then. But it, it's still something that judges look at, right? Is it? Look at uh, not to judge as as, as I mean not as as a whole like the entire the, the, yeah the look. entire yeah. look yes the bikini uh, okay, look so some some silhouette whatever some uh, um, competitor competitor they they are they their implant is maybe too big okay <laughs> so that kind of <laughs> throws off so the so judge yeah they don't yeah. like it like uh, minus ten points yeah minus ten points too big there is yeah 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 too big okay okay interesting how's the flow of the competition like like So everybody walks out on stage, right? Same time. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and then they call your number. They call you, um, one by one. Okay. So you do your your routine. your routine, routine on routine, and then they will call everybody out, mm-hmm. and then they will do a comparison on oh. the um, compulsory post, oh, like right. front post, mm. uh, and then you um, side post, and then okay, you back okay. post. Okay. Yeah. When you competed in Singapore, did you ever think that you deserve to win? No. Okay. I didn't expect to win anything. Mm. Ah, okay. So I just, you like, just uh, as long thank as, God. Yeah, as yeah, just as long as I'm stuff. there, you know, yeah. I don't fall and yeah. That's it. my condition is good. Yeah, things like. But that. looking back, do you think the she deserved to win first place or? Oh yes. What she deserved? Because uh, yeah, they are um, seasoned athlete actually, mm. and they look very good. Mm. Yeah. So that's a word for what you're doing, Azmir. What, what, what <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> you're egging people to start hmm? a controversial topic. No, no, <laughs> no. I don't really. think she deserved to win. Look at her. <laughs> I just, I just don't know how to ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> like well in the second competition, is it the same? Like, uh, did you ever feel like uh, aggrieved by the decisions that the judges made? Yeah, I agree because all the athletes are very good. Mm. They are, they are, they are seasoned athletes. It's, it's, it's um. Okay, if you want to 
you, you ask me whether where where do I rank right? Yeah. Mm. I'm still very yeah below. Mm. Their physique is amazing. Amazing. Probably because they've been training um, years. longer um, years mm. and they've been competing a lot. Mm. You know, and they improve here, improve there, and probably um, diet wise, um, they are how to say training wise. Mm-hmm. Do you do you feel like uh, after you have all this experience, right? It's like I think I think a lot of people feel or think that the more you do it, the easier it gets. But it's actually like it's kind of the same. Do you know what I mean? Mm. The kind of like the struggles you have to go through. Yeah. Um, still kind of feels the same, right? Like you're better at it, you know that, but it's still like you still need to go through all those like little struggles, like the cutting it's, stuff, it's, whatever. It's still a struggle, actually. Mm. It's not easier. Well, you get used to it. You get used to it, but it doesn't make it easier, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Mm. Um, of course, when you compete, you always want to compete with the best. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So you always go a bit higher and higher. Yeah. You know, my dream is always to compete in um, um, international in maybe Europe or, as I say, I want to compete in Arnold. Arnold. So mm-hmm. that is a whole different league. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Because Asia, Asia, um, especially like Malaysia, um, we are still not there yet. Mm-hmm. Our quality, athlete quality, is very not not there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is there a reason behind that? Yeah. Probably exposure, because we're still new. This kind of cat, this kind of competition, and especially in female like bikini, is mm. very new. Yeah, not many. If you, I mean, I only know a few athletes in Malaysia that compete. And International. How many? Yeah. Roughly, that you know. Uh, maybe ten, fifteen. Maybe m- there's more, but um, none that I mean. Do you know? Yeah, mm. I only know like jo- Josephine. She's the mm. first one. Yeah. Um, IFBB Pro. So, yeah. Do you think the sport is growing? Yes, I think mostly. I think because of the um social media, Instagram. Mm. Yeah, so um, young girls especially, mm. they wanted to you know, um, join this kind of competition, um, exposure. Sometimes um, it looks good in your profile if you want to be a model or, yeah. or you know, um, uh, to be in fitness um, influencer. Mm-hmm. So, uh. yeah. Some people want to do for fun, mm. they want to try. And, yeah. like how many competi- IFBB sanctioned competitions are there in Malaysia? I, I'm sorry? How many IFBB sanctioned competitions in Malaysia? Like you, you said one is happening in December. Oh, right. um, only one. That's that's only. Yes. In the region. Uh, region Asia, you mean? Mm-hmm. Southeast Asia. Um, Singapore, Philippines, I think Thailand as well, Korea, mm-hmm. Japan, yeah, a few. Okay. But in Malaysia, only one and. Malaysia, they don't encourage like um, having this bikini. Yeah. Mm. Um, so they, if not mistaken, they add this fitness, fitness category where you wear like sportswear. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. So they're very particular about uh, what you mm. wear on stage. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But Singapore, other countries, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just curious. When you say they're the, the best athletes, I mean the, the, the elite athletes, their physique is so much better. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, is it because they have bigger glutes and they have wider shoulders, or what does it mean to be better? Yeah. To be better, yeah. The muscle. Mm. Muscles. So you mean muscle more muscle? Quality, like more muscle is that? better. Is, is that it? Um, to an extent. It's muscle quality, right? Yes, muscle quality. But what, well, what does that mean? What, what does what muscle quality mean? Muscle quality means um, how does it? Okay, let's say shoulder. Mm-hmm. You know, you need to have that very nice round shoulder. Mm-hmm. You know, so like if you think like mine is, but it's not actually. Mm. Yeah, and only shoulder maybe your glutes, your the proportion, and proportion. of your body <coughs> has to be symmetry. Mm. And um, um, because if you train over uh, over years, right, your body will change. You increase muscle in specific area that you wanted. You know. Mm-hmm. I I know there's explain. such a thing called mu- muscle maturity lah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that that's when your muscles are mature. <laughs> wow. Right. Very well. Yeah. So Very but but, well but here's, but here's the thing. You know, I mean, I, I'm assuming it has this is ha- has to do with how um, you guys are being judged mm-hmm. because you, you said that um, uh, it it depends on how the quality of your muscles, right? Yeah. 
So how can you tell like a your fresh that, muscle yeah, from yeah, a some, somebody who has an immature God muscle God. So yeah. somebody with the ma- mature <laughs> muscle I'm, yeah. I'm not sure how to explain but if you let's like, say you see uh, maybe you google um, on YouTube or what you, you can actually see the difference yeah I don't know how to explain it's it, not striations because you, you no. you're not judged by your no. striations because, no. you know no. right yeah so, in so bikini you mean yeah bikini yeah yeah in bodybuilding it's different yeah but yeah. So it's a thing that I don't until now I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. I suppose I mean, it's a lot of things. You see, like my dad used yeah. to buy this muscle and fitness magazine when yeah. uh, I was yeah, I, I was that. young. Yeah. So I I knew bodybuilding since uh, Lee Haney's time. Yeah. You know, and wow. I've been on and off uh, doing bodybuilding. So that means you've been doing longer than yeah, uh, much longer than you. <laughs> season season veteran. Okay. Yeah. So every time I see like uh, who wins the mus- uh, Mr. Olympia, I'm just like. Well, this guy looks good as well you know, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. how do you tell too. the difference yeah. between one competitive athlete to the next one yeah yeah right? yeah you have to ask the judge <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean it's, it's very difficult actually yeah, yeah if let's say judge, both are right. good then they see maybe the pose the charisma right. but, but yeah. I suppose yeah. I suppose yeah. some Subjective. cases there's also like politics involved right uh, yes in some cases yes, yes. Yeah. There is, there is is what, what sort of politics Ooh, politics um, the like countries I think no no I think uh, for example <laughs> Russia one I, I guess the, the <laughs> a classic example is Icarus you know, Kai Green and uh, Phil Heath uh, Phil Heath yeah so I think Kai Green has um, uh, has a bad reputation reputation sort of uh, like publicly okay is it I thought he's a nice guy he's a nice guy but mm. with a bad reputation <laughs> <laughs> so he's done some some some, some weird things like okay I, think, I, I don't know if it's because of that because maybe they think Phil Heath is a more much a more, more mar- marketable model, guy, uh, something, ro- good, yeah. something like that. You know, he's probably if, if he's in the front cover, okay, he'll sell more. I don't know, maybe right. Mm. Uh, so I think every year people always say, "Oh no, Kai Green looks better than Phil Heath." Mm. Why is Phil Heath always winning? Mm. Kai, Kai Green always gets robbed mm. until finally what was it Sean? Sean Roden. Yeah, sure. He she, yeah. Then he came in and he beat yeah. Phil Phil Heath, right? Yeah. 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 Wow, so I didn't that know that, that you know so much about bodybuilding. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we, we just find finding out ourselves. <laughs> Guys, uh-huh. never stop talking about powerlifting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that kind of politics, right? Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, so yeah, 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 yeah. Are yeah, you? Do you think that exists here, or do you, yes. you try to not, not not be aware of it, or? Um, I try not to be. I don't care actually. Involved, yeah, I don't care about. Yeah. Yeah. I think IFBB is much more. Um, Politically charged. Uh, not. <laughs> it's much more how you get cleaner. I don't know. Okay. Oh, Compared okay. to IFBB is cleaner. In Malaysia. Oh, okay. <laughs> in I mean, as what I know, but compared to other federation, mm. yeah, I heard stories. So like, okay. How many federation, bodybuilding federations are there in Malaysia? Um, the one that I know, um, IFBB, the famous one. Um, in Malaysia. WFF, yeah. W. Naba. B- yeah. Oh, B- oh no, I didn't okay. know that. I thought yeah. there's only one federation no. in that governs bodybuilding in Malaysia. No, there are few. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I only know these two. Famous, the biggest one, one is? Biggest as in? Uh, the biggest federation yeah, in Malaysia yeah. is? Uh, oh. Biggest. Uh, in like terms of more members, prestige, more, more prestige, prestige, yeah, prestige like yeah. sports-wide is IBB. Mm. Yeah. WFF is more commercial. Right, right. Yeah. Oh. So the, the, all the competitions that we see here in Malaysia, like Mister Physics in this mall, that mall in. Oh, the, oh, okay. Oh. Mister Malaysia, Mister yeah. Sangor. Mm. Those uh-huh. are f- by which? That one is um, Malaysia. Yeah. Um, M- MB uh, Malaysia Bodybuilding. Oh, so that's not the federation. That's it's a different one. It's a federation, but Malaysia. Oh, Malaysia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a lot. Ah, so yes, a lot, a lot, yeah, yeah. But IFBB, even though you say they're the biggest, they just organize one event per year. In Malaysia, yes. But it's because of different like regions, I guess. Yeah, it's I, go, oh. it goes by country and region, yeah. But in Malaysia, there's only like one. IP, yeah, or is IB, uh, so, IFBB? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if let's say you're an IFB um, athlete, so you want to compete, you have to, you have no choice. You have to compete. Overseas, mm. uh, okay. no choice. Yeah, it so happened that this year, correct? Yeah. Okay. Can can yeah. can someone who wants to compete in IBB compete in another federation? Uh, yes. You can. Okay, I'm still confused about this, but I think if you're in IBB, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, you can compete in. I think can if you're amateur. Amateur, okay. Yeah. Okay. If you have a pro card, 
So you stay with your own private right. so Otherwise, they will strip you out to the IPBO. Oh, yeah. oh. They'll, tell, they'll tell IPS. So as well. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have like um, who's our, instigating now? <laughs> like um, Sazali. Ah. Yeah, yeah mm. he competes in IFBB now. And oh, that, where was he before? I think local only, okay. like Malaysia. Is it the one Mister Universe? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. Mister Universe is not IFBB. Mister Universe, you confuse me. Huh? Yes. Because he won Mister Universe a few times, right? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, no, maybe no, not. IBB is Oli- Mr. Olympia. Yeah, yeah Olympia. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Yeah. Olympia is different. Is different. Is, I think Olympia oh. is different. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't think he, he can win Olympia. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 but he still won Universe quite, quite a few times. Calling he, he same, same like Malik No, right? Malik No also won uh, Mr. Universe quite a few times. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah. Malik No, what does he look like? Uh, quite fat right now. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, <laughs> Azim. No, no, I mean, uh, he, he looks like Chinese, right? Yeah. Okay. That's, all, that's the extent that's of helpful. how I can describe him he to looks you. Like Chinese. Yeah, he looks like Chinese. <laughs> like no, Chinese. He, he does look like Chinese. I don't know if I know him. Mm, okay. He's very famous in the 80s and 90s. Uh, Malik Noor. I mean, yeah, Malik Noor. Yes, yeah. yes. Hmm? Maybe my dad knows him. Yeah. Probably. Why do you ask? <laughs> no, I don't know. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember because I met someone. Yeah. yeah. So random you Jack guys. Yeah, random you met Jack guys. Let me. Oh, not Jack guys. Yeah, he, <laughs> he met Arnold. Random. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. random. Yeah, random. <laughs> just giving me my sand. Yeah, I don't want the sand. He played in Arnold's sand. Yeah, I didn't care who he was. I want my sand. Can you get Arnold to the show? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but hey, you. I can ask. Got me my sand. Hey, you yeah. remember me? Yeah. I played with your sand. <laughs> you got me sand. I want you on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. So, so um, you're doing this because of personal reasons, right? I mean, you don't care about the money. What What happens no. when you you get into when you get your card? Are you still going to continue? Yeah. Oh. As long as I can compete, yeah. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. Mm. But the end game would be what? Like, um, are you doing this to um, earn, or it's just for personal? Um, Mm, right now it's just for personal. Okay. Yeah, whatever comes, I just like okay. Whatever follows. Uh, so cur- currently, like, uh, how many followers do you have on Instagram? Followers. Yeah. Three thousand nine, I think. Three thousand. Nine. So, um, since you've been into um, this uh, bikini competition, have you seen an increase in terms of your clientele? Or has, yeah, has that helped? Yes, a lot. Like how many how many clients do you have right now? How many clients are you okay, training? Okay, right now I don't take any clients. But yeah, I mean online. I, I do online coaching. Online, so okay. yeah, it helps a lot that part. Um, because I promote in my Facebook as well. Mm. Yeah, because uh, because <clears throat> I do more online compared to like um one to one because yeah. of my kids yeah. and also my own training. Mm. So and I've, I'm a freelance, so like traveling here and there, it doesn't mm. suit my lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so o- online coaching, I assume, is mostly for the competitive athletes right? no just the weight weight loss uh, oh yeah even even oh. the general population yes 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 is it, okay how hard is it to, to teach because i'm assuming people these are these are people who don't know yeah maybe even don't know anything and you have to teach them from from scratch online yeah seems kind of hard no it's just okay basically when uh, online coaching um basically the client that i get is they want to lose weight mm. losing weight is very easy it's easy yeah diet and you keep Training, training. whatever training. training is that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to teach them like the specific exercise or whatever. Uh yeah, I'll give them like a specific exercise. Uh, basically, it's um more or less the general mm-hmm. kind of training, you know. Okay, but the diet is more is one is diet, important, yeah. right? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the most challenging because um it's not easy to. How do you do change. that online though? The diet. I have stuff. prepare a meal plan. Meal okay. Plan. Yeah. Mm. So basically, I just ask them to as yeah, the guidelines. Fill um, it out. Um, um yeah. Okay. Advise them to eat this kind of um, food and avoid this kind of food mm. and mm. a few other questions like, you know, can I eat before workout or after workout and things like that. And a ball of window. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How long does it take for someone to see change <coughs> in, in your experience? Four weeks. Four weeks? Four weeks. It depends on the yeah, yeah. Mm. fitness goal. But four weeks you can... See normally change. I offer four weeks. You thinking about signing up? Hmm? No, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I feel like I'll, these are. I'll probably drop off in the, on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> no, the first meal was too hard. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> my, my daughters can't finish their food, so I have to finish it. Yeah. Maybe just eat that the, the leftover diet. 
<laughs> but then I have to wait. Then I have to wait. You know. <laughs> you like, know what? I might be able to turn that into a PDF. Oh. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. Cool. Um, well, I just want to say thank you for coming on. Thank you for um, inviting me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where can people find you? Um, like find me. Yo, oh, my Instagram. Find me. <laughs> not find. Not, not where can find you? Yeah. Oh uh, no. yeah, they no. can. <laughs> Um, uh, they can find me in my Instagram um, N underscore Nico A N N E underscore N I K K O Nico. Yeah, on my Facebook, it's the same N Nico. Yeah. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, any last words you want to say to our viewers? Uh, any messages? To any messages? To the viewers, like, like female know. viewers or something? Yeah. Okay. Um, anybody who uh, you know um, planning to start um, fitness in their lifestyle, you know, you need Come to, to know fit. what? Come to yes, fit. Sir. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Go um, ahead. Oh, sorry. She'll be here. Now. Um, <laughs> or anybody who wants to compete, um, you need to know why you want to compete mm. because um, it's not easy, but it's very, um, what do you call that? Worthwhile. Worthwhile. Fulfilling. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You, you 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 not only change your physique but also um, your character, your mm, persona, yeah. your confidence. Screw the corporate world, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Yeah. You yeah. wanted to go into it. Mm. Okay. That's the advice you want to get? Yeah. <laughs> follow your dreams. <laughs> follow your follow dreams. Your dream, yes? yes, that's what I want to say. Mm. Follow your dreams. Whatever you want to do, you follow your dreams. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for tuning in uh, this week. Uh, we'll see you again next in the next podcast. Next episode. <laughs> see, ya. see ya. Hi. If you're interested to be on the podcast, send an email to info at zilfit.com.my. Alternatively, you can just give me a call at 012- 2361 you can talk about anything if you want to promote your products if you want to promote yourself bring it on see you on the show hey guys thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe and turn the notifications on if you like the video hit the like button and leave a comment we're also on spotify instagram and facebook the links are in the description see you guys in the next episode bye